appetizers are over there. What? Oh, uh, over under bar is just up to San Fernando. Turn left, and it's like a block away across from the Sprint store. Any questions? If you guys would hold on one second, there's a gentleman here who says he hasn't worked in the mold. Amen. We didn't even know about this. And they asked us, and at first we were hesitant. We were like, and we don't do these things in the streets to be seen of men. And after praying about it, we said, okay, you can use our footage. We don't want any reward, we don't want any prize. But if it's going to touch people, then use it. So we never had the intention of coming here, but we did say, okay, you know, take the footage and may God get the glory. Then all of a sudden, a question arose, fly out here. And even that, we were hesitant. And we said, Lord, show us a sign if you want us to physically go. And <laughs> a miracle happened, and we were able to come. And now I know why. You see, our heart was not to be in it. That was our brother. But witnessing how much power God can use through the media and through TV and through video games, because this is how Satan is destroying, especially the youth. Do we all agree on this? Yeah. He dominates Hollywood. He dominates the news. The Bible said he's the God of this world. But I want to give you a warning from God because I love you. And we traveled all the way from Atlanta to give you this warning. Well, I mean, you made jokes about George Bush, so don't interrupt the word of the Lord. Let's not forget George Bush announced the New World Order, people. We have to remember one thing. The Lord is going to hold us accountable, not by how good we direct a movie, not how great we can edit a film, but is our motives to glorify Jesus Christ. And all I want you to know is never lose sight that Satan even tried to take Jesus up on the mountain and said, I'll give you everything. Yes or no? Did he not say that? If the devil tries to tempt any of you, if you get opportunities to go to bigger levels, you tell Satan, Get thee behind me, Amen. for I will only serve God. Amen. Don't let him use your gifts, right. and don't let him use the blessing that God has given you right. to sell out. Amen. Because no money is worth it, um, no fame is worth it. Amen. What is it to gain the whole world, but lose your soul at the Hallelujah. end? So I was battling up there. My wife told me, she said the Lord already told her. This is how it would happen with me. I had to fight fear and ask for courage Amen. to stand before you with this message that I did. I'm being real with you. I've seen a lot of carnality, and I'm just being real with you. There were some movies that were on here that had no edification of Christ. But I want to encourage you, don't compromise. When the king of Sodom offered Abraham money, for the souls of the people, Abraham said, no way. Right. Will you take money for the souls of All the right, people? We're going to have to wrap it up. All right. That's fine. I love you, and I spoke this message. And remember that in the book of Acts, they didn't need movies to evangelize. All they needed was the Holy Ghost. He's the only regeneration. Yeah. The only reward right. is Jesus yeah. Christ making us born again. Yeah. Amen. If it wasn't for them listening to God, we would have never been able to give that message that was needed. It was never about a, a prize. 
And what did I tell y'all when you first reached out to us? What did, did I not say? We don't want a prize. Right, right, We're not right, interested right. in awards and we don't right, care right. about winning nothing. Right, right, right. We said, but if this will bring glory to God. That's it. Right, right. And we never would have thought we would actually come here. Mm -hmm. But once again, God used them Amen. to open that door. And this is two that are trying to seek God and striving to know about Christ and learn about how evil the industry really is. So I want to say on camera with my wife that we love you too. And you guys are welcome in this family, in this ministry. And if you want to know more, and I'm telling you right now, God got you out at the right time. You hear me? Because it's getting more wicked in that Christian industry. And you have to know this had to happen. This was judgment. And we love you two so much. And you keep working hard. That's right. Because you don't need any help from no man. That's right. It's about Christ. Do you understand? Amen. This is, see, what they got to realize is, for you, obviously, not to be discouraged. Yes, really. Because yes. it was really y'all hard work. Hallelujah. Right. You know what I mean? We just did what we normally do. That's right. But you're the right. ones that put in the work, mm -hmm. striving to do that. But little did you know, or at least not as much as you thought, that God would open up a door of utterance the way he did. Yeah. Right. Amen. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. He opened yeah. up that door. Yeah. So don't be discouraged about that. Because let me tell you something. You see the judgment is this. There was only two that were, there was only one other video in competition with their video. And the video didn't mention Jesus one time. It didn't glorify Jesus. In fact, there was no mentioning of healing people with Down syndrome or mental issues. The fact that that video beat their video shows you the judgment mm -hmm. and you have to realize this yes. so this down. shows you the judgment of god mm -hmm. so you can encourage that you got to witness mm -hmm. god's judgment right. amen. amen i'm telling you it's real amen. Yeah. Yeah. it's real how, hey how was your pizza yeah it was good my hug, man. love you man yeah tv let me introduce you. this is a, what's your name bro this is the brother we met earlier, amen, and God was able to bless him with a pizza and a drink, and he's out here, and I have a question for you, did any other Christians come up and say hi to you during this festival? Uh, no. Did y'all hear that? Say it again. No. Who was the only Christian that came and said hi to you? You. Come here, give me my hug, man. I love you so much, bro. You know, this is God that sent him over here. I didn't even I didn't even know he was still here. Did y'all hear that? Hundreds of people gone to this Christian film festival. He he was laying over there on that bench. Okay? My wife and I, my brother G and our boys were the only ones that came to say hi to him, buy him food and show him love. Right, brother? Yeah. I love you very much. And it hurt my heart when I read how you healed the ten leapers. Nine left, but only one came back. What's my motives, Lord? If I was to get a million dollars by your mansion, would I forget you putting the keys in the door? And if I started eating at the greatest restaurants, would I forget about you and stop feeding the poor? And if I had a thousand dollar suit designer wearing chains, would I even wash feet anymore? I can't imagine the day I don't even please you no more. Before that, I'd rather eat All on the floor. Days of my life, I wanna live in Because you are desire And if I gotta die for your name and face Nebuchadnezzar I'll be okay as long as you in the fire And Lord, I can lose money, lose car, lose gifts, lose a house As long as I ain't losing my friend And 
like Daniel, they can try to conspire and feed me to the lions. I'll be okay as long as you in the den. And if the Antichrist rises up before the rapture and the mark of the beast comes, now I'm facing the crime. And now I'm watching Christians getting murdered one by one right in front of me. And now I'm feeling the pressure while I'm waiting in line. I can't trust my own flesh. I learned from Peter, Lord, if my faith wavers in time. I know I can trust in your word. You promise nothing can separate me from you. Lord, that's Romans 8.39. Deny